in. It's Big Perm and Vic Nasty. What's up, bud? Hey, what's up, guys? Appreciate you guys getting me on the show. Oh, you're quite welcome, man. We are oh, absolutely yeah. freezing our nut sacks off here in Illinois. It's freaking cold as hell. We envy you in Arizona where it's nice and warm. <laughs> nice and warm, shorts and flip-flops all year round, man. Yeah. Holy smokes. If I tried shorts and flip-flops today, I think I'd get stuck walking out the back door. I'd just be frozen. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Vic Nasty, you hanging in over there, bud? Oh, yeah, Shannon, great to have you back on the show, man. Hey, man, I appreciate it, guys. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. So, look, first things first, business, man. Coming up February 2nd, Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship 4 down in Cancun. You take on Omar Molina. Um, Brother, man, them hands, hands of stone, ready to do some business. That's right, man. Um, Yeah, Bare Knuckle Boxing, uh, if you go to uh, barenuckle.tv, you guys can catch it there. Twenty nine ninety five, a little bit of a, a pay per view. But I'm telling you what, man, the fight card is stacked from top to bottom. Uh, you got UFC veterans, Bellator veterans. I mean, look at some of the names on the card. You got Beck Rawlings. She's fighting for her title. Uh, you got Tony Lopez. You got Joe Riggs. You got Chris Lights Out Lytle. Um, you got Julian Lane, Leonard Garcia. And the man, Shannon, the Cannon Rich. Uh, now that's one hell of a fight card. Oh, brother, when I got a look at that thing, and I, you know, Leonard Garcia was one of my favorite smaller fighters in the UFC. Great boxer, great hands. And I thought, holy shit, you know, this, this might be, um, you know, it for this guy. I was so excited to see that fight. And then, of course, you against Omar Molina. Now, I don't know much about Molina. I mean, what do you know about the guy? Um, you know, he's a, he's, he is from Mexico. He's born in Mexico. He was uh, raised in the United States, but he lives in Ensenada, Mexico, on the beach. But from what I hear, you know, he's a boxer, kickboxer. He had a little bit of an MMA background. But, um, you know, I guess he's been boxing since he was like five years old. So, uh, obviously, he's got hands. But, uh, you know, bare knuckle boxing is, is my forte. I I started doing uh, no rules, no rounds, no weight classes, bare knuckle MMA. At the time, it was called NHB, no holds barred. And then I got into bare knuckle boxing. So I'm telling you, bare knuckle boxing suits me better than any other ultimate sport, ultimate combat sport. Bare knuckle boxing suits me perfect. I mean, I'm thirty, um, twenty five and three, twenty five wins by knockout. I'm telling you what, watch me fight. You'll see why they call me the cannon. Hey, age is just a number, and my number's forty eight. Hell yes, Hell yeah. my man. Well, Vic, let me throw it over to you, bud. Shannon, one thing that's always got me about you is that, you know, your will to go. You've been fighting, you know, well over 20 years now. And one thing I've always loved about you is not only that will, it's that damn mohawk. I love it. One thing that you can identify Shannon Cannon Rich with is that mohawk. How long have you been wearing it in MMA? Hey, man, I've had the mohawk off and on for over 22 years. Um uh, a lot of people don't know, but I'm Native American. My uh, my tribe is the Choctaw tribe, and I wear the Mohawk to uh, represent my tribe, my people. And, um, you know, I, I it's just a big shout-out to all the, the Choctaw Native Americans out there. Definitely. And do you have that fighting spirit in you? You know, is that is that one thing you think about, you know, throughout your years? Is that it's that fighting spirit you get from the Choctaws? Absolutely, man. I'm a warrior, you know, um, you know, if you if you look at my heritage, I'm actually German, Irish, and Native American. That's probably why I don't drink because I think I'd be an out of control idiot. Um, right. German, Native American, and Irish man. What kind of mixture is that? I mean, that's nothing but a warrior. You know, and you know, doing the bare knuckle and everything, Shannon. Where do you think the rebirth and the reprisal of American of in America of bare knuckle boxing? What do you think is catapulting that to the forefront now? Well, see, um, you guys got to look, man. Bare knuckle boxing was the original sport of boxing. There were no rules. I mean, there were no no gloves. Um, you know, the fights were, were a little bit longer, a little bit more bloodier. People at that time said, hey, man, it's too brutal. We need to put some gloves on. Um, John L. Sullivan made it really big because he was the American champion. He was going around the world knocking everybody out. Um, and, and now the old sport has revamped, and now it's a new sport. So you got all these people that had never heard of John L. Sullivan. They never heard of bare-knuckle boxing. 
and now all of a sudden they're like, hey, what the hell is this, man? This this is boxing with, with – with, it's just a fist fight. These guys are fighting with their bare fists. And I'm telling you what, man, it's the fastest growing sport in the world. I'm telling you, this is going to take over MMA. It's going to obviously take over boxing. Bare knuckle boxing is the next big thing. I mean, it was a big thing back back 100 years ago, and it's going to be another big thing now. You know, Shannon, last week we had Tony Lopez on the show, and we were talking about, you know, bare knuckle versus, you know, MMA gloves or, you know, boxing gloves. Um, it definitely makes you, uh, I don't want to say more apprehensive, but it definitely makes you measure your shots, um, at least in the beginning, um, until, you know, it just becomes that all-out scrap. Um, well, well, here's here's what I say to that. You know, bare knuckle boxing is precision boxing. You have to plan your shots. You can't just go throwing there you haymakers go. and windmills because you'll break your hand. And I have a lot of people ask me, Shannon. You know, you've done you've done uh, professional boxing. You've done, done kickboxing and K1. You've done MMA and and you've done bare knuckle boxing. What what's the difference? What's what's the thing? And I tell everybody, look, man, put on a 16 ounce glove, and I want you to hit a concrete wall as hard as you can. You're gonna hit it pretty hard. And your hand's going to be okay. But then I tell you right after that, I say, hey, Ben, take the glove off. Now punch that concrete wall as hard as you can. You're going to still punch it, but it's going to be not as hard. And that's the, that's the point I like to make about bare knuckle boxing is if you hit the top of the forehead, you hit the back of the head, you hit the elbow, um, the forearm, I mean, you could bust up your hand pretty good. So you have to pick your shots. You need, to, you need to hit to the body. You need to hit to the ribs. You need to hit to the nose. You need to hit to the chin, um, the eyes. Um, man, you got to stay away from top of the head, the, the, the ear, the back of the head. You're going to end up with a broken hand. Quickly. And I've seen the guy's hands after some of those fights, and um, you, can, you can tell when guys you know, caught hard bone, those hands get pretty banged up. Um, it's, it's definitely a, a tough sport. Now, I've heard a lot of boxers, Shannon, a lot of boxers from all around the world say they hate to fight Mexican fighters because there is no quit in those guys. And for this fight, you're going down to Mexico, the events in Cancun, uh, right. to, to fight Molina. Um, so, brother, you've got, you've got definitely going to uh, have a, uh, a fight on your hands that night because I don't see this yeah, guy giving up one iota. It's going to be a fun one yeah, to watch, brother. Actually, yeah, we actually did an interview, man, and, we're, you know, we're, we're talking back and forth, and then all of a sudden, you know, he said, hey, tell my mother that I love her. And I looked at him, and I was oh, like, shit. what the hell? Tell, tell, your, tell your mother you love her. What, are you going to die? And he's like, man, there is no February 3rd. He said it's only February 2nd. Um, and so that really, you know, I know those guys in Mexico are tough, and he's stepping into a sport where he's actually willing to die. But you know what, man? So am I, man. But but I also you see a February third, a February fourth, a twenty twenty. I mean, man, it ain't the end, buddy. I've been in a lot of street fights. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, Vic, let me throw it back to you, bud. Shannon, well, I mean, I, I was mentioning to, to Perm earlier about how the veterans, you know, have a place to fight. A lot of them are getting out of MMA. They're going over to bare knuckle boxing, and I was saying that that's such an awesome you know, thing to have that they didn't have once upon a time because of the explosion and the popularity of MMA. And, you know, it's just awesome to see that people have, you know, some place to fight. Some people aren't auto mechanics and, you know, computer repairmen. They're they're fighters, and it's awesome they have a place to go now. It is. And, you know, bare knuckle – and you guys got to remember, bare knuckle boxing has been around the United States. It's been alive and well. It's just been illegal. We've been doing it underground. We've been doing it in warehouses. We've been doing it all over the place. But but it's been alive and well. Don't 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 think it hasn't been there. And there is a big population. It's a cult following. Um, you know, over in London and um, in Ireland and stuff, bare knuckle boxing has been around for you know a couple hundred years. In in the United States, it is well. Then the gypsy community, um, man, the travelers, those guys, those guys have been fighting for a long time, and they're actually really good at it. Um, so I mean, it's not—it's not nothing new. It's just now it's sanctioned, it's legal. So now we can actually go out there, fight, make a living, and fight. And it, it's a great opportunity for guys that were doing MMA. And, and let's just say they weren't that great of kickers, or they weren't that great on the on the wrestling. You know, there's a lot of guys that are MMA fighters have amazing stand-up, but their ground's really not that great. This is the sport for them. If those guys can transition, come over to bare knuckle boxing. I'll tell you what, man, they're going to do a lot better than they would in MMA. 
no doubt, man. Um, now, Shannon, uh, there are other bare knuckle organizations out there. Um, this one that you fight for, it's Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship. Uh, promoter David Feldman does a great job with this. Um, I don't want this to be confused with some other organizations that are maybe not so reputable. Um, it's Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship 4 coming up February 2nd. And uh, Fight TV is also uh, streaming this event as well, if I'm not mistaken. And I think uh, if you go over to your Facebook page, you can even find a little, uh, a little discount code if, uh, if, you, if you stalk the Canon's page. Yeah, there's a $15 discount to credit, um, uh, Fight TV. Uh, go to my Facebook page, Shannon Rich, and you guys can see that. And obviously on Fight TV, also BareKnuckle.tv. Yeah, David Feldman, man, what an amazing guy. This guy had a dream. You know, he he was been a boxing promoter. He's done MMA promotions, and you know his dream was to do bare knuckle boxing. And you know, we're we're talking ten years ago. Uh, he was telling me, "Hey man, we're going to do bare knuckle boxing. We're going to do bare knuckle boxing." And lo and behold, man, the guy finally did it. And my hats off to him because you know he had a dream. He followed his dream and he did it. I mean, this guy had beaten some um, amazing circumstances in his life, and uh, he's come a long way. And I'll tell you what, man, he followed his dream and he did it. Um, he, he, you said there were some other bare knuckle um, companies out there. I'm going to tell you what, those guys are the imitators. Bare knuckle boxing fighting championships, bare knuckle fighting championships is the originator. These guys are the real deal. They're a professional company. They treat their fighters amazing. Uh, they pay us. Um, you know, these other companies out there. I was just going to say, and the fighters um, get paid. <laughs> yeah, and the fighters get paid, man. And, and look what he's doing, man. He's taking us all to Cancun, Mexico. He's putting us up in a, in a very nice five-star resort, all-inclusive. I mean, what other promoter does that, man? Dave Feldman is a great guy. He's, he, he's done one hell of a job uh, marketing this internationally. He's got us on pay-per-view. And, and like again, like I said, man, it's not just my fight, which obviously I want to talk about my fight. But, man, you got Leonard Garcia, Julian Lane, um, uh, Shoemaker. I mean, you, you, you got Joe Diesel Riggs. You got Tony Lopez. I mean, this, uh, Beck Rawlings. I mean, this card is stacked beginning to end, man. From the first belt to the last belt, every single fight is going to be nonstop action. Now, Shannon, I saw, I think it was yesterday, you were doing some fight commentary. Um, I was... I was listening, and I rather enjoyed it. Oh. Um, when you do finally decide to hang up the gloves and stop fighting professionally, um, are, are you maybe segueing to a, a new career? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's not a new career. I've been doing it for uh, for quite a while, you know, for the last 15 years, King of the Cage, different pay-per-view events. Um, you know, it, it, I, I kind of like, I don't want to be the Joe Rogan of MMA because I have a little different style, but, you know, pre-fight, post-fight, uh, interviews, uh, play-by-play, color commentary, hey, I'm there, man. I know. I don't know anyone else that knows the sport as well as I do. I'm a third-degree black belt, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, gi and no-gi world's champion. Um, uh, I fought in the biggest fight promotions in the world in MMA, um, done bare-knuckle boxing. I mean, I am the ultimate athlete. If you give me a chance, I'll tell you what, man, I, will, uh, I can tell a fight, describe a fight better than most people can. I had a blast listening. Um, it was it was rather rather cool, man. Um, Vic, I wanted to throw it back to you. I'm sure you got a bunch more questions over there. I don't want to hog up all the time. <laughs> right, you know, uh, Shannon, you're talking about you know the after you know the post fight career. What are you going to be doing then? You know what? Also, you know, other than your fight life, you know, which you know commentating would be part of that. Other than your fight life, what you got going on right now? Well, right now, I'm, uh, I I, ju- I just got my card for uh, the uh, American. Veterans Association, and what that is, it's, it's a golf uh, uh, golf league. I am an avid golfer. Um, I'm right. pretty much a scratch golfer. I love golf. My dream is to get on the senior tour at 50 years old and, um, you know, play professional golf, man. PGA, I mean, that's what I want to do. Um, uh, I can hit the ball like no one's business, and I can make the putts. So, uh, yeah, and, you know, for the last couple of years, that's what I've been doing. I play golf. I play golf three to four days a week. Um, I have a, a Brazilian jiu-jitsu gym. I teach. I manage fighters. I book fighters. Um, you know, I wear a lot of different hats. Um, I, I have a couple students that are uh, looking at trying to get into MMA. So um, i got one student in particular that um, we think that she's going to be the next Ronda Rousey. Um, so we'll, we'll just see how it plays out. 
Hell yeah, good old American hustle. <laughs> That's right, man. Hell yes. Well, Shannon, listen, we don't want to suck up too much more of your time tonight, man. We definitely wanted to bring you on to talk about the fight um, and make sure that everybody tunes in February 2nd. Um, head over to bareknuckle.tv. You can definitely uh, find links for the fights there. Um, stalk the Cannon's Facebook page, Shannon Rich. Find him there. Um, we, we'll be sharing the shit out of the links. Um, but getting back to the fight with Molina, man, this guy said that, uh, you know, tell my mom I love her. I mean, that is, that's some serious shit, brother. Um, and all of us back here in the States are going to be pulling for you. And um, we expect the Cannon to come home victorious. Well, oh, man, I appreciate all the support. And, you know, that's that's the thing, that I've been getting support from my hometown. I'm from Coolidge, Arizona, man. Pinal County has been nothing but supportive. They're all going to be buying the event. Um, a lot of people have actually said they, they're going to go to Cancun, purchase tickets, and fly themselves there. But for everybody else that's staying home, man, I, I have so many people tell me they're doing viewing parties. I got I got sports bars doing viewing parties. They're all going to get the, uh, the fight. They're going to all watch it on pay-per-view. Everybody's coming over to watch it. I've had so many people uh, backing me, all my students at CanonBJJ.net. They're all, they're all backing me. Um, man, it's just, it's just a really great feeling that everybody's supporting Team USA versus Mexico. Um, and, you know, it's, it's a great opportunity. I think David Feldman and everybody at Bare Knuckle Fighting Championships for the opportunity to fight. Again, man, and age is just a number, and my number's 48, and I'm letting everybody know that, it's, that age is just a number. Hell yeah. Well, listen, Shannon, uh, for myself, Vic Nasty, and everybody listening tonight, just, again, want to say thank you, my man, for taking the time to talk with us tonight. And uh, we'll be watching. We wish you the best of luck. All right, man. I appreciate it, guys. TanaBJJ.net and TV. Watch the show February 2nd. Watch it on pay-per-view. Absolutely. Shannon, take care of yourself, brother, and be well. And, uh, Praying for a bunch of eagles on the golf course, making that PGA tour. Right on, man. Appreciate it, guys. All right. Later, brother. Be well.